higher, I think this is vid four for the third lesson. It's very kind of, people don't like functions. I think it's just kind of very heavy on the examples. It just kind of blows your mind a little bit. But all it is, is just X and Y values with a bit of inverses, where an inverse is just a reflection in the line Y equals X. So it's not actually that much going on. It's just ridiculously messy looking. Right, so I've got a map in. Uh, I've got 1 over 3 minus 2x, where x can't be 3 over 2, because if I put 3 over 2 in the bottom, I'll get to divide by 0. So it says find the values of x which map themselves under the function f. Uh, right then. So if it's going to themselves, that means it stay, it's kind of like stays the same. Oops, so I want a y equals x, not x equals x. I could put x equals y, I wouldn't it? So y equals x, that's what I want, because that's how it kind of maps onto itself. It's a bit random, this question, really. So I've got 1 over 3 minus 2x is equal to x. And then, so I've got 1, take that up, is x 3 minus 2x. I just expand the brackets and rearrange it as a quadratic, I can solve it and I get x is a half or x is one there. Whew, yeah, so map onto themselves means you're getting the same value out, so you're saying y equals x. So you're kind of seeing where the inverse would cross the original function. This is what this is doing. So it's actually finding where the inverse would intersect the original function. So it's just the stuff from before, but it just looks weird. So, right, so now it says, uh, find an expression for the inverse. So first bit, y equals 1 over 3 minus 2x. Second bit, swap x and y. Third bit, start rearranging, so I'm going to switch them. So 3 minus 2y is 1 over x. Uh, one over one. I'm going to put the 2y back on that side and put the 1 over x over there. So I've got 3 minus 1 over x is equal to 2y. Now if I divide through, how can I do this? If I divide through by 2, I'm going to get a 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2x is y. Now what I can do, I can leave it like that if I want to, but if I make the 2x a common denominator, then I just need to multiply the 3 over 2. I need to make it 3x over 2x. So I've got 3x minus 1 is y. So that means that my inverse uh, is f, wasn't it? Oops. f to the minus 1 of x is 3x minus 1 over 2x there. And that's fine for any number apart from 0. So we put x is 0 in, I get a divide by 0. So that's fine for any number. So x belongs to the real numbers, such that x is equal to 0. So that bit's done. Right, video 7000 done of this pack. Uh, so we're on some consolidation and lots of that. But I reckon this one could be actually after half term. So there you go. Bye-bye.